Welcome to the Unitel Cloud PBX Yealink End User Training. This training is to go over the basic features of your Yealink phone. For this demonstration, we are using the T53 model. However, these instructions will work across most of the Yealink phone platform. On the T53 model, we have eight programmable keys and four soft keys at the bottom of the display. The programmable keys actually have up to three pages. And once you program the eighth button, the bottom right key will turn into a page button. You do not see it here because we don't have that many programmed, but there will be a one, two, or three here indicating the page number. And as you press the button, it will scroll through the pages. The soft keys are called that because they change depending on the state of the phone. If I pick up the handset, you'll see that the keys change. Also, there is no hold or transfer fixed key on the phone. While on a live call, they will appear as one of the soft buttons on the phone. To the left of the dial pad is the navigation keys. This is to navigate the screen up or down left or right, and the X button below it will take you to the home page. Please note, you may have to press it more than once depending on where you are. Below the navigation keys is the volume key. With the handset in the cradle, it will control the ring volume. While in speaker mode, it will control the speaker volume. And while in handset mode, it will control the handset volume. These settings will stay once adjusted. To the right of the dial pad are the fixed keys. They are speakerphone, which will light up green when you're in speaker mode. Lifting the handset will shut it off. To go back to speaker mode, simply press the button Make sure it's green and put the handset back in the cradle. At the top of the fixed buttons is the mute button. In speakerphone mode, this will mute the microphone. In handset mode, it'll mute the handset. The button below that is the headset mode. This will send the audio out of the headset jack located at the bottom of the phone. If you pick up the handset, it will automatically take it out of headset mode. The next key down is the message button that looks like an envelope. Pressing that will log you into your voicemail box and ask you for your password. Password? The next key below that is the redial button. This will bring up your placed calls and using the navigation buttons, retrieved calls, forwarded calls, all calls, or missed calls. You can press the send button to dial the number. Also on the dial pad, the hashtag or pound symbol is also labeled as send. There are multiple ways to send a call. You can press send here, or you can send it down here, or you can wait three seconds and the call will go. I suggest when you dial an extension or an outside number, you just hit pound because it goes immediately. But you don't have to do that. At the top of the screen, in the programmable keys, the first two keys are your extension. These are call paths for incoming and outgoing calls, whether internal or external. The next two keys below that are park keys for placing calls in a park position for anyone in the system to pick up. On the right side, the most common keys are BLF keys that are programmed here. BLF stands for Busy Lamp Field. If I go to a phone and make a call, it automatically goes to red, showing that that extension is busy. 
You can also press the key to dial an extension. A busy extension will show in red. A ringing extension will show flashing. If there's a ringing extension, you can press the button to pick up the call. You may also use these available keys as speed dials. If you don't have a key of someone's extension on your phone, you can simply dial it. The soft keys with the handset in the cradle are page, intercom, do not disturb, and menu. Pressing the page key will page all phones within your building. Pressing the intercom key will page only one phone. You can press the button, dial the extension, and talk to the person. You can also press the button and press the BLF key to accomplish the same task. The next key, the Do Not Disturb key, when pressed, will show you on the top of the display that Do Not Disturb mode is on. When calling the extension with Do Not Disturb on, Hi, this is Peter. Sorry I missed your call, but please leave your name and number and a brief message up. You will go right to voicemail. Something else worth noting is on the volume. Turning down, you can turn down the volume all the way. You will see a little speaker symbol with an X next to it, indicating that the ringer is off. Your phone will still take calls. You just won't hear any audible ring. We do get calls in those from time to time. Either my phone's not ringing because Do Not Disturb was on or the volume was all the way down. The last one, the menu button, will take you through different menus such as status, different features, settings, messages, history, etc. But that is not going to be covered under this basic training. When making an outside call, Simply dial the 10 digit number and hit pound or wait three seconds. You'll notice that it automatically picked up on the call button. I will accept the call here. We can now have the option to put the call in hold. Placing the call in hold will only put it on my phone only, or this extension only, I should say. So no one else can see the call or pick it up. That may be preferable. If you're not gonna get up from your desk, hold is the best option to use. Once on a call, you also have the option to hit the park key. Pressing the park key is a simple toggle. You press it, the call is parked. You press it again, you pick up the call. The park key is unique because you can pick up the call from any phone in the system. Other options you have for, for is to transfer the call. You can press the transfer button, dial an extension, press blind transfer, that's what B transfer stands for, and the call will go over there. Like I said early, earlier, if you see a call ringing, you can pick it up by pressing the button. And we'll pick the call back up. Also, you can transfer just by pressing the BLF key. Once again, I'll pick it up by pressing the button. So basically these keys have three functions. You can use it to transfer, to call someone, or to pick up a call. Another way to transfer a call is a supervised transfer, where you transfer to an extension, wait for them to pick up, hello, Yes, this is, I have Peter on the line. Would you like to talk to him? No, I would not. Thank you anyway. So, you can go back to the call after they hang up or press the flashing button. Say they don't want to talk to you right now. Would you like their voicemail? Sure. To transfer to voicemail, press the transfer button, dial the extension, star, then B transfer. Okay. So that goes directly into the person's voicemail box that way. Another thing you can do with calling, let me make a live call here.
is conference calling. All right, so we're on a live call here. Mute that. You can press the conference key. Dial another number. This can be internal as well. Whoops, I missed out. Sorry about that. I'm going to resume that and start over. Press conference. You will not see the soft keys light up until the call is connected. I've connected the call, and there we go. Now we can hit conference again, and all three parties will be joined together. So it's conference, two members. You'll notice that they all went to one call key when I did that. We can now manage the conference, muting the far end or holding the far end. Choose which call you want to do that to, or hit the back button. We can hold the whole entire conference, and they will hear music on hold on their end. Resume it by hitting the resume key. Or we can split the conference. If you're talking to two people and you want to split it out and only talk to one of them, hit the split button. You'll notice that they both go on hold up here, and you can choose which party you want to talk to. When you choose one, you can swap between them quite easily by hitting the swap button. You can end the call. Hit conference again, conference them back together. End the call on the one person, pick up the other person, and end that call. The last feature I'd like to talk about is the voicemail. Initially, when you set up the voicemail, you'll press your voicemail key, enter your passcode, which by default is your extension number. Here, we are at extension 100. Password. Welcome to voicemail. First, I will guide you through a short setup process. Please enter your new password followed by the pound key. All right, this mailbox has been partially set up. I will explain to you what happens. Initially, when you set it up, it will walk you through a tutorial to record your name, record your unavailable greeting, record your busy greeting, and change your passcode. Your busy greeting can be the same as your unavailable greeting because it will probably never get to that because both your extensions would have to be lit. And even though there's only two call paths showing here, you could take even more calls than that. They just stack up behind those keys. And once those keys become available and you pick up the call, we'll jump to there. But I tell people to record the same greeting for busy and unavailable. If you like, you can say, I'm on the phone right now and you're busy greeting, but it's certainly not necessary. And the last thing you have to do is change your passcode. Three to four digits, and it cannot be your extension number. Otherwise, it'll do exactly what it just did here and will guide you through at least part of the tutorial. Once in the voicemail, you have a cheat sheet that comes with every phone. First of all, how to set up your voicemail. And then while you're listening to the message and what you can do with it, seven to delete the message, for instance. So those come with every phone, so I won't bother getting into those details of the voicemail. But that's how you log in and initially set up your voicemail and transfer calls throughout the system with your new phone. Oh, and last, when you do have a, a new voicemail, I'll leave you one here. Hi, this is Peter. Sorry I missed your call, but please leave your name and number and a brief message after the tone, and I'll return it as soon as possible. Thank you. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Hi, it's Peter with Unitel. Leaving a test message, you can delete this. Thank you very much. All right, I left the message. The message light came on up here. It also shows you an indicator of a, I guess that's a little cassette tape for those of us who know what the, those are. Uh, to check your messages, simply hit your message button. Password. Enter your password. Welcome to voicemail. First, I will guide you through a short setup process. Please enter your new password followed by the pound key. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. Please re-enter your password followed by the pound key. Highly encrypted password. Your though. passwords have been changed. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. Pressed first. 
message received today at 12.45 p.m. Hi, it's Peter with Unitel. Leaving a text message, you can delete this. Thank you very much. Press 3 for advanced options. And so I'm going to delete message that. Message deleted. No more messages. Press 3. And the light is out, and I've checked my message. Uh, one other thing worth noting here is if you have requested it and we set it up, you can have wave attachments to emails sent every time you have a new message. One thing worth noting about that is it does not tie directly into the phone. It just sends the email. So if you check your email and delete it there, or check your message on your email and delete it there, it's not going to remove it from the phone. They are two separate things. So that concludes the training today for your Cloud PBX J-Link phone. Thank you very much, and you can always go to askunitel.com for additional information.